fixing to do some smoke wrenching. We've got to replace the deck on the trailer here. When we bought it, it had a few boards that were busted out. They've been scabbed over with plywood, different one buys. When I got these free 2 by 6s we were going to try to just cut and splice them in, but the more we worked on it, the worse we decided the original boards were. So we're just going to replace the whole deck. Probably won't, won't even be $200 worth of lumber. But to do that, this front piece of flat steel here, that's not angle iron. This piece here is the angle iron going down and around. This piece is a piece of flat steel that just lays on top the front end of these boards and then is welded down. So it's kind of hard to see, but well, maybe y'all can see. There's a weld right in here. And they're just kind of across there every foot or so. There's a weld a couple inches long. So I'm going to just get the smoke wrench going here. And we'll just work our way along cutting them welds out. Yeah. It's kind of hard to find them. Never really cut out welds like this before. Okay, so the trailer work continues. My father-in-law got all the old deck boards ripped off, literally ripped off, because a lot of the screws would twist off. So he got the boards ripped off, screws cut off clean, and now we're actually going to take this trailer to the lumber yard because we need the 20-foot boards, and the easiest way to haul them would be on a 20-foot trailer. So we'll just stack them up on the trailer here, bind them down tight, and then get back home with them. We'll have to, it's actually about an inch and a half or two inches shy, 20 feet. So we'll have to cut them all off, but we'll get them all put on here and uh, then go about decking them back down. These guys are cracking me up. It's like a little army of forklifts. <laughs> they just keep showing up. It's like it's like tow trucks at the scene of a wreck. Forklifts just keep rolling up. But I forgot how they did this last time. I, I told them to load it over the side and just dump it, but I forgot their forks don't their forks don't come forward very far. So instead he'll set it on the end and then this other forklift's got the end of it now. He'll push it all forward. Probably break the straps when he does, but whatever. I got enough ratchets I can tie it down. There goes one. <laughs> this front end's hanging. Go, go lower. No, go lower. Your, your front end's hitting the cross brace. Yeah, go lower. You're good, you're good, come on in. That's the last brace. Okay. That's good All enough, right, man. So we got our loot here. Made it home safe, no problem. And now, <clears throat> gonna try to get it cut and installed. Metal band. Problem solved.
was supposed to happen on the first hit, by the way. Now there's a big gouge in my board, but I'll put it on the bottom side so the wife never knows. Let's get a couple of these laid out, get them unstrapped. I'm not going to cut my strap like that. And uh, <clears throat> we'll start measuring and cutting. Got to make 12 cuts. All right, well, the trailer is technically a 20-footer, but it's only 239 inches worth of uh, wood decking. Okay, so that's an inch shy. And the boards are technically 20 footers, but they're actually about 241 inches. So we'll be taking a little bit off each board here. I've got four of them marked. I just marked as many as I could right now. This tape measure is kind of a piece of junk. Not a shot at Stanley, but it's not my Fat Max. My wife stole my Fat Max and hid it somewhere. Anyway, got four measured out. I'll make four cuts, get them laid out on the trailer, and then we'll do that again and again. And then we'll go through and get them all screwed down. You guys get the idea. Uh, the cuts don't have to be super perfect because they've got an inch and a half of overlap on both ends. So nobody's ever going to see the cuts. So give yourself a little bit of space. Let the boards expand, contract, whatever. So yeah, it measured out technically like 239 and a half probably. So I just went with 239. Anyway, get these laid out and then we'll get them all screwed down. Alright, well, I'm not so sure. Not sure how my monkey math got so messed up, but... I added a 2x4 that I didn't need. I don't know if these if these 2x8s are wider than I thought, maybe. Sure enough. Look at that. Oops. Can you look at that? My camera flopped. Yep. 2x8s are 7.5. I thought 2x8s were 7 and a quarter. But these are measuring 7.5, which works out fine. Except that I bought uh, a whole extra 2x4. That 20 foot 2x4 was probably $25 or $20. I don't remember exactly. I have to look at the receipt, but I don't know, 18, 20 bucks, something like that. I didn't need to spend because the way it is now, I've got 10 2x8s and one 2x6, and it fits pretty snug. I mean, there's nice, yank it all together here. There might be, um, you know, I don't know, there might be a three quarter inch total gap at the edges. That's split between both sides, so three eighths on each side, something like that. It's not going to be much. Not enough to try to worry about ripping down that two by four and putting in a little one inch spacer or some nonsense. So I'm going to figure out where my cross braces are and um, see if I can go find my chalk line and then we'll get them screwed down. Well, I'm either too lazy or too dumb. Couldn't find the chalk line. Of course, I found the chalk powder, just not the chalk line. That's usually the way it goes. Surprised I didn't find two or three bottles of powder. But all right, what I did was I just went through, I pulled the one board out of the middle and then spaced the boards out a little bit so I could see the joist through them and then just put that little black mark. You can see a little black mark right there. Just went through and put those little black notches. And then I've got a whole bag of these self-tapping screws, which said they were, um, Oh, what am I thinking here? I had a brain fart. Oh, they're sorry, not what I said. They're like three and a half inches long. I really needed like two and a quarter, but this is all they had in the store. So I just took them because I didn't want to hang out and waste any more time. All right, let's give it a shot here and see how they do. Well, you saw how they did. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, it worked. I had to put a little weight behind it, but uh, it went on through. 
Let me see. I might have actually had to drill through two beams. Maybe that's why that was so hard. I might have gone through. Oh no, there it is. Okay, nice and shiny. Um, yeah, the tap's pretty long on it. You can see just a little bit of thread poking out there that, that got through. That's all you need though. The threads ain't gonna hold nothing once they're through the metal, so as long as they're in the metal, you're fine. Well, that's pretty much that. I'll go on through now the rest of the braces and get them all put in. Sorry you guys fell off the trailer, but it's not that exciting. Well, maybe not my finest work, but I mean, come on, it's trailer floor. Just figured I'd mention those self-tapping screws. I made that first little bit of the video when the camera fell over and I was like, oh yeah, it worked great. Pretty much every one of them after that sucked. They, um, they really didn't seem like they would they would drill very easy i really had to lay my weight on them to get them to go they were a little big maybe i mean they, i think they were a little bit bigger than they needed to be so of course that means i gotta drill a bigger hole um but man it just wore me out so i ended up actually going and getting a regular drill son of a gun there's one screw left i thought i used them all up and there's one left uh ended up uh going and getting a regular drill and drilling pilot holes and that sped things up quite a bit even though i had to drill kind of double drill every hole uh, it drilled a lot faster than trying to lay on that uh, screw and make it tap itself in so looking at it now this is crappy I should have uh, I should have pulled this over and sunk a screw there just to close that gap but I don't know thunder's rolling it wants to rain on me oh but that breeze is such a blessing anyway so last thing to do our piece of flat steel we'll have to get welded back here on the front so that'll hold down the front uh that just piece of uh inch and a half flat steel will be welded back on to hold the fronts down and then i've got screws here uh i had extra screws i was just going to screw front and back and i wanted to screw the middle here too but i didn't have enough screws to put two screws in every board so i did one screw in all of these except the two outside boards got two screws and then here across the back or back middle whatever you want to call it got two screws in every board and then the back of the boards of course is held down by that piece of angle so yeah last thing to do just be able to weld that piece of flat steel back on which i'll have to take that back over to the in-laws house for the big welder over there but that's fine because that's where the tractor's at so that's where the trailer needs to go anyway Yeah, focus on the on the vertical edge because it'll slough off a little bit and you fill that hole. Here. See? Oh, you, well, you're a quarter inch off. Right. <laughs> it's not surprising. I told you I can't see. <laughs> well, here, if you really truly can't see, I'll do it. Well, I just don't think I'm doing a very good job. I, had a, I thought I had a wire brush over somewhere. We place. do. It's right here behind us. Turn that off just a minute. If you don't mind. But yeah, I, I can see I'm on the piece of metal, but I'm not on the trailer. Yeah. You know, it, it'd be something when you get better with track practice. See, I was way off here too. I'm way back here and I need to be on that piece. It's almost like I ought to grind that back off of there. Oh no, leave it. Give me something to make fun of later. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you say? Keep going? You or you want to do it? do it? I'll do it. I don't care. Well, I think you'd do a better job. I thought you wanted to, but I'll do it. I'm happy with it. Well. I like it. Yes. Practice. Yes, yeah. I did practice. Hey, I'll plug my trailer lights. Just in case we're... Just thought about that with the voltage. I mean, we should be grounding back to the trailer, but... You can only imagine how that might... Yeah. Fry well, a truck to or something. Yeah, yeah. No. Probably already did. Well, we hope not. Okay, so tell me what you want. All you right. want to leave it at what you got, you're on a 90. Yeah, that's fine, light it up. Okay, here you go. Feels good, sounds good. Well, it's your welder, you just weld all you want. <laughs> Katie 
Katie said she wanted to learn too. What well, I'm standing with Daddy right now. Oh, you're fine. Okay. My ag teacher always said that women made better welders because they had a steady hand. Don't look at this bright light, okay? Yeah. Why don't you go back to the carport? Take Sam and go to the carport. Nailed it. Good enough for government work anyway. Yeah. Well, I, it. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd wrap it up with a video, a little clip of the tractor. Nothing like testing it out. Nice new fancy trailer deck. Not all scabbed together with plywood and one buys. <laughs> Looks good. We just got, I just went to leave the father-in-law's house. He was like, well, you can take the tractor if you want it. I don't need it. Perfect. Happy to have it. Looks good up there on that new trailer floor.